Hi, I know there's a, a lot of back orders for lots of people and lots of you are actually adding them all up to see what the total is. And you've been saying it takes a long time now to add up all of the different orders that are on back order. So a quick way of doing it, I'm going to show you now, is go onto your back order page, scroll to the bottom, so you make sure you're right to the bottom, and then left click and then drag your mouse and highlight all of the back orders. So just keep going up until you see the top. Right, you're up to the top now. So you've got everything highlighted. Just right click and click copy or you can use Control C on the keyboard. Then you need to go to an Excel spreadsheet and either use Control V or right click and click paste. Right, once you've pasted it into the Excel spreadsheet, you need to highlight the first two columns and then go to Edit, Delete. and Leave the quantity column in and leave the price column in. And now just click and highlight and drag the other columns. Click Edit and then Delete. Now this is where a little bit of technical stuff comes in. Um, go to the next column, so column C, click in there, and then click, uh, type in equals, and then click on the next square, so that's selecting that square, and then click in times, so, so it's that square, times, and then click in that square, so it's B1 times A1, and then click enter. So now that's not working. So what you've got to do is go to edit as we did on the previous video. Go to find, replace, replace all. That gets rid of the and sign. And now you can see that it's calculated three times 4.5 is £13.50. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to go into any more detail. So now what you need to do is just click on that number and you'll see in the bottom right hand corner there's a little square. Put your cursor there. When you see it goes to a cross, left click and then drag it down and drag it all the way to the bottom of your list and there it is now. Just let go and that is that column set up. So you can see it's exactly the same as there, but if you scroll back up to the top where the quantity is more than one, it's actually worked that out for you. So now if you go down to the, one of the cells below, click in there and then click the auto sum, that sigma sign, and now it's selecting all of that. You don't want that. So just put your cursor in the last one, drag it all the way up to the top. So it's selecting all of the prices where it's taken into account the quantity as well. Click the enter sign and now you can see it's actually done the calculation with all of the multiple quantities and the single quantities. So I hope that helps. Uh, so this is a bit more accurate, but a bit more involved. Okay, bye now.